Commercial bus system is a vital transportation lifeline through much of New England. But the owner of Concord Coach says when they stopped operation in mid-March, they slowed the nearly 2 million passengers per year they carry. We were transporting some cases of COVID uh, and made the determination that it was in the best interest of our employees, our passengers, and, and our communities to cease service. Concord Coach's owner says operating a bus line is expensive. And even with precautions like masks and increased sanitation, it may not make financial sense to start running again soon. Uh, the capacity of a motor coach is typically between 45 and, and 50 passengers. In order to keep six feet distance between passengers on the bus, the capacity would drop to around 12. The commercial bus system is different from municipal transport in many ways, and they are hoping for some sort of financial aid to carry them through this time. But he says money is only part of the reopening battle. We recognize that consumer confidence is a big part of this and convincing people that it is safe to travel and safe to get on a bus and public transit um, more broadly is a real challenge. The task force also approved guidelines for the reopening today of charitable gaming, indoor sports arenas, and for driver's education. All of these guidelines must go to public health officials and then to the governor for final approval. Putting live Mandy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.